Hey, what's up? It's the Iacusk. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about this lovely metaphor that came up in my mind. Yeah, that's basically it. Anyways, I, I was thinking about abandoned buildings last month. I've always had this obsession with abandoned buildings. I don't know why, they're just abandoned structures that have been taken over by Mother Earth. The environment, you know? Earth took it back. And it's just so interesting to see it. I think there's a certain aesthetic to it. Obviously, what certain places do represent time where we did not do the right thing. Or, you know, in some cases, it represents a time where people had fun. Each one of these places has some sort of story to it and obviously there's a story to its fall. Some of them are tragic, some of them aren't really, you know, some you can look back and be like, you know, that that, that, that was a good time. Others you can be like, how did this happen? It's a really weird rabbit hole, these things. And I think I'd have to compare this to Uranus and maybe, maybe Neptune now that I think of it. Unlike Pluto, Uranus kind of, I guess, just builds and builds, you know, whatever's new is whatever's new. Pluto destructs them, builds over. But, you know, Uranus isn't like that. I think Uranus is more of the type to just leave once something's done and build anew somewhere else. They want things to be completely new. And with that being said, some of these places are not bulldozed down whatnot. And I think this is where nature takes over. With Uranus, the sun opposes Uranus because um, Leo is Aquarius' opposite. And also squaring Uranus is Venus, which is Taurus, earthy Venus. So that being said, you know, I think that the sun is bringing life to Earth in a sense. And Earth is building around what you're Uranus abandoned, basically. Uranus is more innovation. Taurus is what is known, what is stable, th those kinds of things. I think Earth just takes these structures back by just growing around them. This is, you know, how Leo is bringing life to Taurus and Taurus is building around these structures of Uranus. And some sometimes it looks very nice, but sometimes it is very unsafe to try to go into these places places. Weather erodes these structures to an extent where they're weak as frick and you shouldn't try to go in them or anything like that unless if you're smart. <laughs> these places just take up so much space and with all these like unsanitary unsafe environments Pluto, which is um, Taurus's opposite, will have to come in and destruct them at, well, you know, I guess bulldoze them down at one point. But basically, you know, like I said, at a certain point, when Venus fully grows around a structure, Pluto will definitely, will like, at one point have to tear down the weak structure behind it and change it. And sometimes that, I don't know. I think that's just how I view this, okay? Like, I don't know how. And I guess the sun will bring back light, or Leo, bring back light to the new structure. Uh, obviously, people will keep the Earth maintained around it. And that's basically it. Neptune, I guess, is represents, you know, Neptune is ruled by Pisces, which is mutable. Um, basically, Neptune would represent nostalgia we feel towards these places. We'd kind of romanticize them a little bit. When we see, like, an amusement park, an abandoned one, be like, oh, we might have had good times here, even though, like, there is an obvious reason why this amusement park was shut down. <laughs> like, it was either you went once a long time ago, or some someone died in there. <laughs> or it was the action park. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y you know what I mean? <laughs> So that being said, you know, I think Neptune and Pisces will offer that in some sort of way. With mental hospitals and places like that, I think Pisces would add that, like, American Horror Story kind of thing to it. Y you know what I mean by that. With, like, retail, I think the Neptunian energy would be like, oh, I used to shop here all the time. What went wrong? Even though it's obvious, like, you shopped here once or twice. And, yeah, it's basically, uh, that's kind of what I think of it. I don't know, this has obviously came to me when I was watching these abandoned abandoned buildings and structures videos again. And I think it was a pretty big sign for me to get back in front of the camera and try to make a video that was relevant to my channel in general. And hopefully I will find inspiration to do more of these. So peace out, hug a tree. Hopefully that tree is not wrapped around a roller coaster or something. Well, you can hug that tree, just, just be careful, okay? 